It's very nice to see that AI tools are starting to be used more commonly, especially in the entertainment aspect. It's like watching a baby grow up, even though you are not the parent but you feel proud that they have gone so far. And today, we are actually revisiting one of the earliest research that I've covered when I just started making videos. And yes, it's 3D photo in painting. In the first TikTok clip I showed you, the generated texture, the stretched background, and the roughly cropped foreground, I'm 90% sure it uses 3DP, or at least is based on on 3dp the reason i'm bringing 3dp back up again today is actually because of the release of this mind-blowing paper called bmd short for boosting monocular depth estimation models to high resolution via content adaptive multi-resolution merging it's a pretty straightforward paper along with some really really impressive techniques to accurately estimate the depths of a single monocular image. And to better appreciate how amazing AI depth estimation is, let me quickly blab about why it's difficult. While we humans learn the feeling of depth starting from when we were born with our two eyes and other sensories, computers look at a flat wall of RGB pixels to read and write. So naturally, when we look at a 2D image, we can sense its depth and perspective like how we are used to in real life. But when computers sees it, they lack the reference to depth, so they treat all images like they are 2D. So through machine learning, researchers are trying to train AIs that understand depth like how we humans do. However, this is different to research such as neural radiance fields. Those are like regenerating a scenery by looking at multiple perspectives or you could say with multiple eyes in order to grasp the 3D mapping of the target object or scenery. Depth estimation is just through one eye and understanding the depth behind that single perspective. There is already some really amazing research that came out before and all came up with some really stunning results. But BMD instantly grabbed my attention with its shockingly detailed demos which left me questioning my sanity. And I just couldn't believe my eyes with the examples they gave on their official project page. It's just too good to be true. What makes BMD stand out is that it considers contextual consistency throughout the entire image, and it relies on resizing the input image into high quality and low quality versions to obtain a better understanding of the input image. This creates a what they call double estimation process that generates a balanced depth map that includes the accurate details from high quality image depth estimation and consistent overall structure from the low quality image depth estimation. To learn more about this, I suggest you to take a look at their own really well produced video explainer on their project page about their research paper. I was actually wishing this would get implemented into 3DP and surprisingly without much delay, the author of 3DP really did update right away and implement it into their codes. Looking at the difference in the old depth map that 3DP uses called Midas versus BMD, you can already tell there's a huge difference between them, which is as promising as the ones on BMD's official demos. Looking at my results when applied with 3dp it works perfectly on real life sceneries objects and humans and to push it to its extreme it performs much better than me does on illustrations and artworks the lack of depth information on illustrations is what makes creating a good depth map hard but you can tell when an artist is especially pro when the generated depth map is fully in sync with their art so the original 3dp effects such as the dolly zoom where the background zooms out and the foreground zooms in the swing effect where the foreground swings in front of us, the circle effect where the foreground does a circular motion and the zoom effect where the background and the foreground zooms at different speed. All looks very on point and it can give your image a cool cinematic style. Anyways, the potential for BMD is definitely not just limited to making cool image effects. 3DP is just one of its more obvious and close to hand applications and this is definitely going to be a key for autonomous driving. Just like what 2 minute papers would say, we we will definitely be getting more groundbreaking techniques and improvements down the line. I'm pretty excited to witness the growth too. To install the newest version of 3DP, I'll leave a brand new tutorial and documentation folder for the Windows user down in the description. I realize the old one is not really that good, so I'll be linking this new one from now on with its BMD implementations. Or you can link up with today's sponsor, 27 Stars, who run these codes on an app for you or your business. 27 Stars is a London based development company that creates custom, tailored web and mobile applications for individuals or businesses of all sizes. With their expertises, any of your ideas can be deployed easily and is just one request away. Currently, they are also providing an exclusive 10% discount for all of you guys if you choose to work with them. All you have to do is to include my name in the initial email to receive the discount and by working with them, you are also indirectly supporting this channel, which allows me to dedicate more of my time to work on these videos and thank you for that. And as usual, thank you for watching too. A big shout out to Andrew and many other patrons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. You can 
share your generated results all more on my discord channel or if you have any questions feel free to put it there too follow my twitter if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one